hello guys happy sunday welcome back to my channel and welcome if you guys are new today i'm sharing with you guys easy cheap delicious meals that you can get on your table super fast because if you're anything like me then you are just already maxed out with the school year starting work everything else going on all the sports so today i'm actually collabing with a very good friend of mine maria for meals with maria she's a mama of three she shares such awesome content on her channel, lots of budget friendly content, lots of like really unique ideas of things that you can take like for example, canned chicken and turn it into like all kinds of yummy meals. Like she is awesome. And I love collabing with her. We've done it a few times in the past. I'm a fan of hers. I watch her channel. So you guys, I want you to go check out her channel, give her some love, tell her I sent you. If you guys are new and coming from Maria's channel, then welcome. I am Tiffany. I'm a mom of four. I share lots of budget friendly content on my channel, lots of budget grocery hauls, lots of budget meals because life is expensive and I like things to be easy, delicious, and quick. So, um, and cheap. So with much further ado, let's get going you guys. Okay, tonight we're making cheeseburger casserole. I've already put in um, the one pack of cheese or of burger. I've only got one pack left in my freezer, sadly. So I have to start stocking up on those deals. Cheeseburger has some reduced meat or stale meat. Um, I've also put one in. I have already chopped up that I had. I actually just had one left. Actually, now two left. So put that in there. Turn it around and let it cook through so there's no more pink in the meat and it's a, and then it's a soft. Okay, that's been cooking and it's brown. So now we're gonna add in, you're supposed to add in eight ounces of tomato sauce. I don't have that, so I'm gonna add the tomato paste and a little bit of liquid. You know, because this is a lot thicker. It'll still have that tomato flavor. Um, yeah, a little bit of liquid to that, so it's a little bit. Now we're gonna add a fourth a cup of ketchup. Then we're gonna add some salt and pepper into this to season it. Now if I didn't say it already, preheat your oven to 350, because this will only bake like 10, 15 minutes once it's all brown. It doesn't take long to make this. So we're gonna add salt. Gonna add some pepper. So you're supposed to use nine by nine. I'm not, and you're supposed to layer it, but I'm not doing that. So I'm just gonna pour the whole pan in here. That way we can make it stretch a little bit bigger instead of layering it. It's just I'm gonna spread this. You know, feel free to do it the other way. Smaller pan, you get layers. I prefer to try to make it stretch. So I would have used to actually double the meat, but I didn't have any more. We are all out of our ground beef now, guys. That I've had stored forever. I mean, we literally had like 50 packs of on clearance. So, we've got that. Now, now we're going to add, uh, in total you add two cups of cheese, so I'm just going to cover this. And then, uh, we will top this with biscuits, uncooked biscuits, and we'll top, we you can brush the tops with butter that's melted, and then garlic, salt, and parsley. Then we'll pop it in the oven for about 10 15 minutes. So, super easy. Now we'll put the biscuits on, then we'll top.
here is the biscuit bake, all done. Okay guys, this is a tried and true recipe in our house. Um, it came from a recipe I found a long time ago and I just created it on my own. So um, usually I will boil the chicken or I will cook it in my Instant Pot. On this occasion, I was making extra chicken, so I just set this aside um, because you can shred the chicken. I just like to cut it into cubes. And this was actually the very first recipe I ever made on my YouTube channel, very first video I ever made, um, but it's so long, so I'm gonna shorten it on this one. So you can just cook your chicken, um, boil it, instant pot it, you know, crock pot it, whatever you wanna do. Um, and what I'm doing is just breaking it up. I like it cubed, like I said, and then you add croutons. I know this sounds crazy, just, just go with it. I add a little bit of lemon juice. I don't really measure any of this stuff because I've made it so long. I like to add some garlic powder into this. And then I despise mayonnaise, so I actually don't eat this, but my kids and my husband love it. So roughly you add a cup or a cup and a half of mayonnaise, then I don't measure the cheese either, but you know, because we like cheese. So add about a couple cups of cheese in this, a little bit of salt to give it a little extra flavor, um, some black pepper. You know, you can season this however you want to. This is just what works for us. So then you're just gonna mix this around um, I will bake this in the oven for about 20-25 minutes, really just till the cheese is bubbly because I'll put extra cheese on this, of course. And you will just bake it in the oven at, um, it really is dependent upon your oven also because you don't want to like scorch it. So I think on this recipe we do it at like 400 for about 20 minutes. And then I made some fries to go with it. And you guys, I just spoon it out and put it on sandwiches. Sometimes they'll just eat it because they just love it. It's so gooey and like yummy and you know, there you go. Okay, tonight's dinner I am making up as we go because I went to the store and I'm out of time. So we're gonna put this together super fast. I'm taking this, this was supposed to be my taco meat. Ryan requested no Mexican food tonight because <laughs> I would make it every day of the week. So I'm gonna take one pack of this. I pulled this out of the freezer from before. I'm gonna cook these. This is what I got on sale. I wish I would have gotten all of them. Um, so I might make two bags because it doesn't make a ton. And I, I was debating whether to make these as a layered thing. So I'm gonna make this as like a, maybe my own homemade sloppy Joe-ish version. Put them in these and then have mashed potatoes on the side and green beans and call it dinner because it's easy and it was super affordable. So let's go. Okay, gonna add two thirds cup of ketchup here. Then we're gonna add in a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add in a tablespoon of brown sugar, two dashes of Worcestershire sauce, two clove, two, th two uh, probably two tablespoons of garlic, cause I like garlic. Uh, some diced onion, you can put a half a cup. Um, and then let's see, we'll put a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and a teaspoon of sriracha if we have it, but I don't think I have it, so. each bag so if you were doing half the bag you microwave it for like four minutes and put the, the fourth cup of water I'm doing two of these because one bag is not enough for our family I'm just gonna add a cup of water and we'll microwave it for about eight minutes and check on it
you guys, tonight's dinner is different. I um I make a lot of like tater tot casseroles, so I'm going to use one pack of uh, tater tots. I'm using up what we have at home. I thawed this out, just an 80% lean ground beef, one pound of that. You need a can of cheddar's cheese soup. You can also make this in the crock pot. You need two tablespoons of minced garlic, packet of taco seasoning. You're supposed to have two cups of shredded cheese. I don't have any left, so I'm going to use pepper jack cheese for this because it's just cheese. You're giving it that cheesy taste. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to brown my ground beef. Then I'm going to mix all, once this is brown and drained of the fat, I'm going to mix all of this together and put some cheese on it. And we're going to cook it. Um, you also need to preheat your oven to 425 and then we're going to cook it. Yeah. Once we've got it all mixed together in our 13 by 9 inch pan, we'll bake it at 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes. So let's get going. Okay, you guys, this is one of those like super fast meals. I don't usually buy the garlic bread already box, so I like to just make my own because it's cheaper. A lot of times we have bread to use up. So what I'm doing is just laying out some bread on here to get this prepped, and then I'm gonna go over here. I, I forgot to put the piece of film in here where I was cooking the beef. Um, it was just a pound of ground beef that I already had left over in the freezer. So I'm just browning that. Um, I don't love showing beef on here, but all I'm doing here is just browning it. And then over here, this was actually some um, pasta that I had. It was just like some leftover pasta um, that I had made. It was just sauce and basically penne. So I'm sorry if that's cut out. Um, I don't know where the footage is. But all I've done is mix a whole bunch of cheese in with this, some Parmesan cheese. So I'm kind of like revamping this because my husband will not eat penne without like some sort of meat. Back over here, we are just buttering the bread. That's what I like to do is like while one thing's going on we're multitasking always so I'm, I'm just going to put some butter on this bread and then I will put garlic salt on this and I like to just broil it on low because on high I swear it scorches it so I just boil this for about four minutes on low but honestly it's totally dependent on your oven because everyone's is totally different than mine um, back over here once I have browned that meat then I am just going to add it in to the penne obviously top it with some cheese have some garlic bread and call it an easy quick last minute dinner you guys so good okay friends that's going to be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up say hey in the comments and don't forget to go check out maria's channel meals with maria give her some love tell her i sent you and you guys i will see you in the next one love you guys